Hi, I'm back. I'm Michael. Uh, as a second part of the video, I will go with the basics and introduction to the combat system in the Forbidden Lands RPG. So, with the Forbidden Lands, the combat can be brutal and unpredictable. There is no balancing, um, and also the players have no way of knowing how strong a, a monster is. Uh, sorry, the character has no way of knowing how strong a monster is since they are most likely confined to a village. However, once they get uh, a few, um, survive a few weeks or months, they would have known better. So they can decide, but generally combat is better to be avoided. From the mechanics point of view, once a once we say a roll for initiative, um, the game gives you two options, either rolling traditionally or rolling on cards. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show mainly with the um, D10, essentially. It is easier and also um, keep things simple when you are learning for the start. So what do you do? You select the tokens um, that is supposed to be for this purpose. I produce three goblin characters on the bed when you do that. So I use uh, token mole module, so that's why you can see there is uh, a few, I should remove these uh, adjectives. Um, I need to move the tokens up here a little bit. The reason is I'm going to open this page. So combat. So it talk about, um, and then when we start bro initiative, so we have to, uh, we have five actors on the map. Uh, if we roll it, 10. So you, the one, the round one is the one with the lowest number will start, which is the different two D&D games. So you can draw initiative, you can have surprise round, um, you can judge that as easy as you want. So um, if everyone is doing a surprise round, you could almost run like a D&D game. You round, only the players do that, or the other way around, the NPCs will have a surprise round. And if there is talent, and then you can modify your initiative. So the main thing is the nature is there two um, type of action, slow and fast. And in each round, you can either do a slow and fast. It is quite simple. Follow the action on the list, things on there, which is regarded as a slow is slow fast is fast and um, if it is simple thing uh, that will not require a lot of time but you can usually decide that as a fast action so slow will include like slashing steps or most combat things and casting a spell even fleeing and there is prerequisite so this table is something I uh, would do that. So for example, I could turn on my GM screen. I could do that, but it's create funny. Uh, yeah, it create weird. Oh, I just need to might to might need to uh, keep these. Um, may not be too many columns as a DM screen. You can charge, crawl, heal. Has to be arm length. Fast session is quite simple. Dodge, parry, draw, swing. So each actor in the round of combat will have only a slow or fast, nothing more than that. So if um, so, if you only have one monster, a monster can only. Um, 
dodge only once or shield once. Uh, you, you can do that, but if you can use two fast action too. However, in that way, you would forego your chance to attack in your own turn. So let's start with this goblin. Alright, this goblin is going to move using a fast action uh, towards this player. Who is that player? Player 1. Alright, and then what does goblin do? I have here um, a, s a short sword going to stab the player and then a total of five hmm. well goblin does not push so the player one can decide player one can decide either to dodge or uh, to parry it so the player one decided to click on combat uh, dodge that so the player one's dodge is obviously either the, the same level or better so the goblin did not do any damage to the player one now this goblin um, was frustrated so he's going to help his mate and move forward and going to stab the player one again the same puny short sword has two damage sorry two success and then player one what can she do she can still try to dodge again so that is a move so not available on this um, combat uh, action token hut so I have to go from the character sheet. Um, no. So the she can decide to push it, but um, probably no. So take two damage to um, strength. Sorry, that we should go there. And since there is no. I think that was the one before. Alright, two damage to the stream. Alright, so even in the round, the player two has two strength away from broken. So player one already dodged twice, can't do anything. Uh, this one will go forward and gonna step to player two. Goblins. Or maybe it for a different. It moves slightly back, and it's gonna uh, throw a rock with the sling to player two. Hmm. Well, they don't push, so player two's turn. Player two is looking at player one. Gonna decide it to take out on the um, goblin. So this is the. Um, Dagger as action, slow action. Well, no success. Let's see what happened. No, the player two misses altogether. So this is basic one round of combat. One thing I haven't um, talked about is the zoning and range. So only in range uh, rarely affect, but it is mainly to determine um, a large map. So, and then for example, this combat is mostly happening at either near or arm's length. So short is that anything further away, and um, and the the going between zone is very abstract and um, you, you should make your decision based on how easy it is for your players and yourself. So, and then it can, it talks about range, movement, 
So for example, as I showed to you the initial uh, obstinate goblin, the it it used the fast action to move um, towards player one. So player one also can decide the flee if it um, if she has any more movements left. All right, close combat. When you're attacking in close combat, you use the melee skill, which we did, and uh, weapons. Now, these explanations are important if you're playing in person, but in the um, virtual tabletops, most of them are automated. So it seems a lot easier. Reactive action, so you are being attacked, you can either dodge or parry. Um, the which is um, they need to declare before you will do that. So slow action in detail. There is some detail that we should be reading. Fast session dodging. So you can even shove, disarm, feint, or retreat. This is for melee. Range is also simple uh, most of the time. Uh, arm's length is that um, the near length like this should not have any uh, modification, but if it is further away, there is minus modifier. So the difference between the range and the melee is that you need to ready uh, your bow or ranged weapon before you can shoot it. You can use your fast action to aim. This is good if uh, there is no enemies in the vicinity. So fear attack is mainly for the uh, monsters, not for players. All right, I want to go through the uh, armor. Where is it? Is it? That's the advanced. Um, Advanced combat. Mm. I think let's go in helmet and armor. So that's only the difference. So the idea is that if you're wearing an armor, the armor has to roll, and the only damage beyond the armor will have um, received damage. So that will be in the gear. It will be determined by your armor rating. I know where to find in the PDF, but not in this um, list. So anyway, that is the basic combats of it. So the, I use the year zero action here to mark if someone already did uh, fast action and slow action. That is useful. Um, I'm sure there are ways to uh, run a macro to automate that, uh, but, but I guess we can easily uh, remember it. Now, if there is, uh, in this instance, I use, uh, because we have only five uh, actors on the map, if there is, let's say, seven goblin and we have five players, I would use only one um, entry in the initiative order for every goblin with the same stat. All right, I hope this video is useful. If you liked this video or find it useful, please like and click like and subscribe to the channel. And also, uh, yeah, that will be very useful to me. Bye-bye.